Welcome to Guns, Guns, Gear and Guns with Gary Gunderson. I am Gary Gunderson. Less than a week after California's magazine capacity restriction was struck down by the courts, Governor Gavin Newsom signed all the gun control bills. Seriously, they had like 20 of them. Most notably is SB2, which followed in the footsteps of New York and created so-called sensitive places to restrict where you can carry your firearm, as well as still making it extremely difficult to get your permit. The law begins by detailing the Bruin decision, and then spends several pages talking about studies about how terrible guns are. It bans firearms in deep breath here. State and local public buildings where meetings are open to the public, the governor's mansion, residences of any legislature, child care facilities, government buildings, courts, corrections facilities, hospitals, public transit controlled areas, bars, outdoor public gatherings that require a permit, playgrounds, parks, athletic facilities, colleges, casinos, stadiums, libraries, airports, amusement parks, zoos, museums, buildings regulated by nuclear regulatory commission, places of worship, financial institutions, police stations, polling places, plus it is automatically banned in all commercial businesses unless the owner expressly states otherwise via signage at the entrance to the building. You can tell they are confident it will pass constitutional muster because they include a provision stating that if part of it is struck down as unconstitutional, only that part will be removed from the law as all of the provisions would have been passed individually anyways. The goal of this is, of course, to make it essentially impossible to carry anywhere in public, making the issuance of carry permits moot, because why would you do it if you can't actually take it anywhere? To get a license requires 16 hours of training, which will include safety, handling, shooting techniques, legal methods to transport and secure firearms, firearms laws, at least one hour dedicated to mental health, a written examination, and a live fire exercise. You also need to be fingerprinted and investigated to verify your eligibility, which includes an in-person interview, three character reference interviews, a review of your publicly available information, including statements, which just means a review of your social media and are not subject to a restraining order, as well as verifying normal things like you don't have a criminal history that would prohibit ownership of firearms. In addition to this law, they also added an 11% tax on firearms and ammunition dealers and manufacturers, which they are very adamant is on the gun industry and not citizens, but that will be immediately passed to the law-abiding consumer because the poor should not be able to defend themselves. They added considerations in regards to body armor for red flag laws, allowing waiting period delays up to 30 days, and will require micro-stamping on all handguns in 2028, even though the recent law they had was struck down by the courts because this technology does not exist. Lawsuits have already been filed, and hopefully they come out with injunctions to stop these laws before they take effect, but time will tell. For more information on this, I will be releasing a video based on the press conference where these bills were signed because they are a bunch of fools worth mocking. So subscribe to the channel to check that out soon. Please consider supporting me on Patreon, like the video, and share it with others as well to help the channel grow. I'd really appreciate it, and thanks for watching.